Okay, so you found some gray, shiny, metallic-looking minerals, and you want to know, what are they? And what's the difference between them if they're not the same thing? Well, today, we're going to talk about whether or not the mineral you found could be lead or galena, or if it could be hematite. One of them, hematite, is an iron oxide, and the other is a lead sulfide. So they're very different minerals, and there are some really easy ways to tell the difference. So let's take a look. Okay, so the number one way you can tell the difference between a mineral that is hematite and a mineral that looks like hematite would be the streak. Hematite is known for, despite looking like a gray, shiny metallic look to it, for having a bright red streak. So let's try both of these minerals here that I have that look kind of similar. You can see it has that grayish metallic look to it. And let's try a streak test. I'll just do one in this corner here. And what we see is a gray streak. Uh-oh, that means that probably isn't hematite. Let's try the other one here. Similar looking, what do we have? We have a bright red streak. So that tells us right off the bat, this is hematite and this is something else. But what is it? Well, for one thing, we know we have a gray streak. Another thing that we can look at, which I've uh, chucked up a little bit here, you can see is we'll take a close look at the crystal formation here. Look what that mineral form is like. And those two features themselves actually tell us that this is galena. So we have hematite and galena. One thing you always want to take a look at are uh, get a hand lens and look at a close-up view of the crystals you have. Sometimes the crystals can be a giveaway. And if you're interested in learning more about each of these minerals as well as a whole host of other minerals, I am currently working on a mineral series here at Let's Go Geo, so just check out that playlist and see if your favorite mineral is there yet. I have hematite, lead, sulfur, quartz, calcite, lots of minerals for you to check out. So check that out, and if you want to go on some fun geo-field adventures with me, just subscribe here to Let's Go Geo, and I'll see you on the next one.